Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of Shin Godzilla. Um, also referred to at one point as uh, Godzilla Resurgence, but Shin Godzilla seems to be the uh, title most places are going by. Uh, it seems to be the uh, more official name. Um, I just got out of seeing it. You know, it's uh, having a limited U.S. theater release October 11th. Um, through the 16th or so, I want to say, or at least for a few days in the U.S., and uh, luckily it was playing at one of my uh, the local theater I always go to, actually, so <laughs> that definitely worked out. Um, went you know, with my girlfriend, who was uh, very kind to go see a movie, who, you know, like this with me. Um, you know, I just want to remind everybody right off the bat that I am a massive Godzilla fan. Um, I have loved Godzilla since I was a baby, pretty much, you know, I own pretty much all the films, um, I've seen all the films, you know, quite a few times over, uh, Godzilla is like my hero growing up, he still is really, Godzilla and Batman, but Godzilla probably even more so, um, you know, I, I just love the character so much, um, you know, all the movies, you know, there are some lesser ones, but I enjoy them all to a certain extent, uh, and you guys know I reviewed, uh, Godzilla 2000, Godzilla Final Wars, um, I plan to review other movies. You know, I want to review Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, some of the other high C ones, the original Gojira, and probably some of the Shaw ones as well, as well as more of the Millennium series. Um, but that will come later. Uh, but I did want to talk about this one. And before I get into what I, I felt about it, uh, I just want to say that <laughs> no matter what I thought about this movie, uh, I am nonetheless happy to an extent coming out of it because just to see a Godzilla movie in theaters is just uh, such a treat to me. Um, just as such the fan I am, just as the diehard fan I am, uh, it's just really, it's really a special to see this, I think. Um, and if you're a fan of the character or the franchise at all, I'd recommend you go see this no matter what you hear, or no matter uh, what your impressions are. But yeah, what did I uh, think about the movie? Uh, it was honestly pretty disappointing. Uh, I didn't really like it too much, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, <laughs> where to start? Uh, you know, it's a pretty it's a pretty basic story. You know, um, basically Godzilla shows up, and that and the movie's about you know everyone coming together to try and figure out what to do about it. And you know, that's one praise I will give the movie that the humans in this movie are actually a little bit better than usual. I want to say. Uh, and when I say that, I mean Godzilla movies aren't usually known for their, uh, you know, overly interesting, you know, human characters or anything like that. Uh, you know, there are f there are a few exceptions here and there, uh, certainly, but you know, of course, we just watch it for Godzilla and the fights and stuff like that, or the military scenes and things of that nature. Um, but I will say the humans, at least the main human characters in this movie, were pretty decent. You know, we had a uh, Rondo Yaguchi, um, we had, uh, you know, uh, Hideki, I, I can't pronounce all the names, I'm just gonna stop there, um, but the main guy who plays the Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary, um, as well as La Female, I was mentioning, you know, the age of the Prime Minister, um, let's see, or, no, no, okay, but, he is the age of the Prime Minister, and then we had uh, Kayoko Patterson, who is actually a special envoy from the U.S. President. Um, you know, so I, I actually like those characters. I found them to be acted, uh, you know, fairly well, considering. And that's one thing about this uh, theater experience. The theater experience was sort of mixed for me, um, because on one hand, it's it was really sort of pleasing to see the theater almost packed with people to see this movie just for one night. Um, so I was happy about that as a fan. But at the same time, I was saying uh, a, a seat away from this uh, kid who, of course, is just uh, very immature about uh, you know the Japanese acting and or the Japanese uh, you know language and stuff like that. And he, he was just like uh, mocking it, just like repeating it as it went over and over. It, I wanted to grab that kid by the neck and, uh, never mind. Uh, might have been a little bit different if uh, my girlfriend wasn't there. Um, but, 
like the acting itself was you know pretty decent for what it was considering especially uh the main male lead and the female as i said they're both pretty good actually uh, minus a few lines here and there and there were some attempts at humor you know like there's this guy complaining about his soggy noodles or they're like this uh, certain uh, tricks with the editing they did to make things come off a little bit comedic um, like when they bring in the biologist and they just show him like all oh, is sitting there very quiet awkward in a room and stuff like that I don't know <laughs> um, but why did I not like it overall why was I disappointed with it and that was Godzilla himself in the movie uh, I was it wasn't Godzilla really to me to, to really be honest with you guys again um, to be to be point blank I think I think this Godzilla is kind of shitty, honestly. Uh, the latest American Godzilla movie, I know, you know, in 2014, I know a lot of people complained about, you know, his lack of screen time in that one and such. And that definitely wasn't a perfect movie, but Godzilla himself, the version of him and that was absolutely incredible. I thought he was handled really well. I thought, you know, the effects on him were, you know, pretty good. And, you know, just the way the, the character was written and, like, the nature behind him and what he was doing there is all very well done. Um, and I feel like, uh, that last, uh, American movie treated Godzilla with more respect than this movie did here, um, <laughs> which you would think it would be the other way around, because this is great, you know, it should be great, you know, it's how Toho coming back to, uh, you know, uh, have their own, uh, Godzilla, you know, get started up again, you know, it should, you can really like the 2014 one and the movies we have coming up in a few years, but, you know, I was ready to enjoy uh, what Toho had going on again, too, because they haven't made a movie since Godzilla Final Wars, you know, which is over a decade old now. Um, but like I said, the 2014 American film, I feel like, treated Godzilla himself with more respect than what they showed of him in this one. <laughs> and that just, that, that sucks, you know. Um, I'm just ready to see Godzilla 2, you know, from the U.S., and uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong, that will definitely be better than this one, I think. Uh, what didn't I like about Godzilla in this movie? Well, he has multiple forms, I guess, you know, and he has, like, this more aquatic form when he first shows up on land, and at first it is kind of cool. It has a cool effect when you see, like, the tail coming up, like, how massive it is. It it is a little bit daunting, but then when he actually comes out of the water onto the land, he's like squirming around. He has these big googly eyes. He can't take it seriously at all, and the, it's almost pretty much all CGI effects. You know, even when he goes into his final form. Um, but this first aquatic form, this looks silly and completely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I people laughed, people busted the gut, honestly, and I can't really blame them. Um, you know, I think if uh, they just played a movie like Godzilla 2000 or any of the Millennium ones or maybe even one of the 90s movies, um, they probably would have taken the look of Godzilla quite a bit more seriously in both his aquatic and final form. Um, uh. <laughs> and then once he actually uh, evolves and, you know, changes into, like, what we see in, what we see in a lot of the promotional pictures, it just doesn't work, you know, from how massive the legs are to how, like, scrawny and, like, just stoic and just stiff the whole look of him is. It just does not work at all. I mean, conceptually, uh, or at least for the concept on paper, uh, I can see what they're going for with the, des the design, the decaying, the showing the veins and the red and stuff. That could potentially be kind of cool. Um, but just the look of him, he looks like a puppet or like a dummy in the face or something like that. Um, just the eyes, they're very small. He looks mindless in this movie when you look into his eyes. <laughs> and Godzilla sh Godzilla's eyes should be intense as hell, you know, but he, he looks kind of stupid. <laughs> like he has some uh, mental issues, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... It's just really unfortunate, and like I said, Godzilla himself in each form is made up almost of complete CGI, and I didn't really like that for a Japanese film either, especially when the CGI isn't very good. Um, you know, like, uh, the American Godzilla in 2014 is all CGI too, but he still looked real, it still looked like he was, uh, there. Um, but with this one, uh, the CGI just wasn't very good. Um, I mean, it was okay for some of the breath effects, but we'll get into that, that stuff in a second. Um, but Godzilla himself, it didn't look like he was there, and even, not just the, uh, CGI, but just the design for itself, um, 
Godzilla felt really lifeless in the movie, and I was very, very disappointed by that. Um, I didn't believe he was actually alive. I didn't believe it was. I didn't believe it was Godzilla. Um, I was waiting for Godzilla to show up and uh, kill this monstrosity. Um, I was waiting for Godzilla to show up and you know stomp it or just uh, obliterate it. Really, um, you know they try to explain it as like Godzilla's more like or of like an organism, and you know explains like the evolving and you know changing of forms and such. I get that they're trying something a little bit different here, and I guess I can give some credit to them for that. But it just didn't really work. And then, like I said, with the breath stuff or the atomic ray, um, it's just really weird. Like his mouth opens up like a mandibles on a predator, um, except that there's no, like no part that opens up on top. It's like two sides on the bottom that open up. And then he shoots out like a really thin, like purple ray uh, <laughs> that makes this really weird, like sort of high pitched sound. And. I've heard better effects uh, for Godzilla doing that, you know, from much older movies, or from any of the Millennium movies especially. Um, it just didn't work, and it goes into, like, this flame effect, which looks pretty fake, and that's slightly better, I guess? I, I don't know. <laughs> um, although I, I will admit that when it, it does uh, show Godzilla doing all that during the night, there are some, like, okay shots with it, but it's just because it makes the CGI look a little bit more eye-popping. Um, but then when you actually look at the CGI, you realize it's not that good. <laughs> uh, oh, that, it just Godzilla was done so poorly in this movie, I really can't take it. Um, as I was just saying to myself, change into Godzilla, or where's Godzilla? You need Godzilla to kill this thing, come on. <laughs> um, and Godzilla, like they promoted, they are like, almost like braggy about uh, got this being the, technically the, the largest or the biggest Godzilla ever, you know, bigger than the 2014 American version, oh yeah. But, even with that, again, it doesn't matter if Godzilla doesn't feel real on screen in the movie. And also the fact that uh, Godzilla himself, like, minus the design, minus the effects and everything, he is kind of weak in this movie, to be honest. I mean, to an extent, it was kind of cool, uh, you know, when he would use, like, his uh, rays to... Uh, actually shoot down missiles before they got to him. Um, but nonetheless, it's still very weird to see like these little rays coming out of his spines and his tail. What? I don't know. <laughs> it felt like he was like some kind of weird alien uh, that tried to make their own Godzilla but failed miserably. I don't know. <laughs> um, they, just went, they just went too far with trying to do it differently, I think. And uh, it, just, it just did not work for me at all. And... I was very disappointed. Um, like, I was laughing about it at first, but now when I think about it, I'm just, like, almost seriously offended just because of how much I love the character. Uh, like, I could grab any Godzilla movie from behind me over there. I have a actually a pretty cool Godzilla set up now. I'll have to, like, take pictures of it sometime. I have a bunch of the Bandai toys and some of the NECA and uh, an SH Monster Arts figure, some of the Pops. I have a plush. <laughs> but anyway, um... I'm just saying a lot to reiterate how much I love Godzilla, but it just hurts me to see him done like this, and to know it's from the original company, uh, you know, that did, all, like, most of the other movies, and yet our last American Godzilla movie treated him, treated him with so much more respect, and we got more of a Godzilla than that. It's just really, it's it's a shameful, really. But yeah, like I said, the humans uh, were okay in the movie, I guess, but... <laughs> Godzilla, they just could have done so much more. His, his design could have been much better. They should have had other monsters in it. The story felt very bare bones and basic. And I know uh, they were apparently working on this movie years before uh, the 2014 one came out, so it's not technically a response to the movie we did. Uh, but then again, they still try to take advantage and promote it. Oh yeah, ours is so much bigger. <laughs> um, so apparently it was an answer back in a way. But even if they were uh, working on it years beforehand, uh, they still chose to release it now, and I feel like they could have done a lot more with it, you know, it's, I know some fans do like just the more Godzilla versus military thing, but I think, uh, they should have had other monsters in it, you know, it would have at least helped a little bit. Um, Godzilla is taken down way too easily in this movie, too, like I said, he came off pretty weak despite his size supposedly being so daunting. Um, the whole plan that they end up going with, you know, like, freeze the insides of them and such, um, okay, but then 
it was just too easy, you know. They, they shot missiles at Godzilla, and eventually it actually brings him down, makes him bleed in really weird ways. Um, again, he's like more of an organism. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but then he's just really stiff and he's lifeless. He can hardly defend himself really when he's not shooting his beams. And he's just very immobile, like I said, very lifeless. And then he just hardly moves his mouth like, hanging open like this the whole time. It just came across very, very poor. And then they get these little, like, uh, you know, construction vehicles into him to inject him with this uh, coolant stuff. I, I don't know. And then he's, like, uh, frozen. And we hear he's going to move again after, you know, a few more years or something like that. You know, he's eventually going to break out or whatever. But then we see, like, these uh, humanoid forms at the end of his tail at the end of the movie. I don't know if that's, in a way, referring to, like, the soul. You know, there's, like, some ideas in different versions of Godzilla that he's made up of the souls that were, uh, you know, from the wars and such, um, which is a decent theme for him. Or I don't know if it's having to do with uh, the people he killed just recently through the city, or if, uh, you know, it's, like, Godzilla, like, somehow taking another form to get out of it or something. I don't know what it is. It's sort of confusing to me. Um, I'm sure a lot of other people were asking questions too, but yeah, overall it was just really unfortunate. I wanted to be excited to see this movie. I had mixed feelings going into it, knowing what I knew, but it just uh, went even below that. And I'm sorry to say, if I just did not like uh, Shin Godzilla very much at all. Um, I probably will be buying it just because you know it's a Godzilla movie I see in theaters, and that still is kind of a nice thing you know for me to think about. But uh, I'm afraid I can only give this like a. I don't know, like a 6. 6 out of 10, I think. 5.5, uh, 5, 6 out of 10, I'm not sure. And that's only because of the title, really, and some of the human characters were okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, overall, I just didn't really like it. The 2014 Godzilla movie treated Godzilla, the character himself, with much more respect. This hardly felt like Godzilla. Like I said, I was waiting for Godzilla to show up and just destroy whatever this uh, weird clusterfuck was. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Maybe I'm being too harsh on it. I, I don't think so, though. I think it was kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.